I personally don't initiate. It's not that I'm not comfortable doing it. I'm just not going to because you have no idea what are they single? Are they married? Are they taken? Are they really truly interested in anything more than sex? Um, All those things so. you just listed are things that men would face too in a scenario where they would approach. Yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's I, not a very good reason to not approach them. Yeah, I think women should be a little bit more cautious in general. And this is a blanket statement because we have all gender spectrums. We have all sexualities. But just for sake and ease of conversation, as far as straight, uh, I'm going to just use straight male, female example. We can you sure. know, switch it up a little bit more. But I just... I feel like a lot of women have been in a situation like her, and I have been in the past too, where you're with a guy and it may start out initially okay and a little, the reciprocity is there, but over time you get more in your masculine energy and he gets more in his feminine energy and he's sloughing, this is just her example was a little bit a good extreme example of sloughing off on the bills or maybe he's playing video games or maybe he wants you to be the breadwinner and there's nothing wrong with the roles being reversed but I think in general it's best if you are wanting a man who is a bit more in his masculine energy of provider, protector, initiator, then mm-hmm. I think it's best to just start out from day one. Typically relationships uh, end how they start. So if you're the initiator, it oftentimes is with a man who's more in his unbalanced feminine energy. There's nothing wrong with that. There are those situations that are reality, but I just don't think that they are the norm kind of depends on what you're looking for but because I've spoken to so many women and they're wanting more of that man to be in his core masculine energy which does not mean like he's hugely in his masculine energy and you have to be submissive and just do whatever he says it's more of a balance Um, maybe I know this may sound a bit robotic but like just for sake of explaining it oh like I would consider myself 60, 70% more in my feminine energy and I'm looking for somebody who's 60, 70% more in their masculine energy because I think over the long term that can go the distance and not in a codependent way where the woman is extremely in her feminine energy and the man is extremely in his masculine energy or vice versa and there's control dynamics at play. And it's not a robotic like 50-50 either. So that's just me it's just what i advise. So you had something go ahead yeah so would you call like a, a man who's just shy feminine because that's no. not in his natural like it's just not in his personality no. to initiate some like i just feel like some men are just a little bit more you know conservative and they just keep to themselves but i don't feel like that makes them feminine and no. i feel like you know what i mean that's just my question yeah i don't have i really just stray hugely away from blanket statements um masculine isn't just like oh masculine and like oh, feminine is just dainty either it's not really quiet um if he's a bit more hesitant to initiate you could say he either is it's all dependent he either is essentially meant to match with a woman who is more comfortable and wants to stay more in her masculine energy and is just more that dominant role or maybe more of a 50 50 type of relationship which in my personal opinion is is rare um and uh, so no I, i wouldn't like just i wouldn't shame him or like even say that he's necessarily feminine no but if he is looking to be in his masculine energy more so and have a partner that is a bit more in her feminine energy, then it's, I mean, that's something that has to grow and evolve within him, I would say. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you.